People ask me all the time, they say to me, what is the secret to success? The first rule is trust yourself. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. So rule number one is, of course, trust yourself no matter how and what anyone else thinks. And of course, rule number two is break the rules. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. It is impossible to be a maverick or a true original if you're too well behaved and don't want to break the rules. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? The only way that I ever got any place was by breaking some of the rules. Which of course brings me to rule number three. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure, or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it is the right thing to do, and success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. Which brings me to rule number four, which is don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it has never been done before? As a matter of fact, I love it when someone says that never, no one has ever done this before because then when I do it, that means that I'm the first one that has done it. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. I always listen to myself and said, yes, you can. And that brings me to rule number five, which is the most important rule of, world, of all. Work your butt off. Now, if I always believe leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. 
and let me tell you it is important to have fun in life of course but when you're out there partying horsing around someone out there at the same time is working hard someone is getting smarter and someone is winning just remember that but if you want to win there's absolutely no way around hard hard work none of my rules by the way of success will work unless you do I've always figured out that there's 24 hours a day you sleep six hours they have 18 hours left now, I know there's some of you out there now and says well wait a minute I sleep eight hours or nine hours but well, then just sleep faster I would recommend just remember you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in the pocket and that takes me to rule number six which is a very important rule it's about giving back Whatever path that you take in your lives, you must always find time to give something back. Something back to your community, give something back to your state or to your country. Let me tell you something, reaching out and helping people will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've ever done. Remember those six rules. Trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail. More than they say is, work like hell and give something back. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Bodybuilding for me is, is my sport. When I was at school and throughout university, I tried, I played volleyball, and I played volleyball to a good level, and I played hockey, other sports as well. But I was never the most talented. And if you look to the person to your left or the person to the right, they might be more gifted in a particular area than you. They might have more intelligence than you. They might have more ability on academic paper. But what's important in what sport I suppose has taught me is about hard work, about consistency, about passion, and ultimately about challenging yourself to do something that you might not ever thought you would be possible and that you would ever do. I made some decisions that I wasn't comfortable with making, but they've made me a better individual. They've made me grow, I've learned, and I've made mistakes. I've made so many mistakes. But as long as you don't make those mistakes again, you become better. So I'm now five weeks away from my next competition, and bodybuilding is one side of my coin, and the other side is all about how I can take my body every single year to the next level. Now I don't expect everyone in this room to have an appreciation for bodybuilding, just like not everyone's going to have an appreciation for every single sport. But for me, I don't do it to look good, I don't do it for any other reason apart from to challenge myself. And when every time I step on stage, the only person I'm competing against is myself. I don't care who stands next to me, I don't really care where I come. As long as every single year I get better, I become a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit leaner, I'm healthier, then I know that I can put my hand on my heart and all that work that I did in my off season, when I do my diet, everything else, I know I did it right. But when I talk about health is the second part of my coin, I suppose, and in the moment I work as a nutritionist and I travel around the UK, and I, I do seminars at Loughborough University, Edinburgh, Sheffield, Hallam, Manchester, on the best practice to lose weight, how to gain muscle. So for me, when I was at school, I probably wasn't the most academic, but now I've kind of gone full circle, because for me, I want to be the best in order to achieve what I want to do and get that little bit extra, I need to put in the work in every single aspect. So you you might be sat here today and at school, you might not know what you want to do when you're older, and I certainly didn't. There was no way that I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't even have the job, I didn't even know the job I have now even exists. And it's a job that I facilitated myself by like all of this work, and I've managed to combine those together. And I'm extremely lucky, but also I understand that I have to work hard for it. So that's okay not to know what you want to do, just find what you're passionate about. Stick to it, be consistent, work hard, and whatever that thing is that really makes you happy, you will be successful. So, again, thank you so much for.
having me allow me to present and for all the achievements tonight, congratulations. I know you deserve them and I wish you the very best luck.